Hi, I'm Tara Stiles, and today on The Yoga Solution, I'm gonna show you a nice routine that you can do for weight loss. Let's get started. We'll start on all fours on your hands and knees. Make sure your wrists are right on your shoulders. Same thing with your knees and hips. So just starting to move a bit with your spine, with your breath here. So as you inhale, dropping your belly all the way down, looking upward. And then as you exhale, rounding all the way in, tucking your chin. And just a few more times like this here on your nice and smooth and easy, just to start to get everything open and working for you here. And just breathing a whole, whole lot. So the next time you do inhale here, looking all the way upward at the very top of that inhale, gently tuck your toes. We'll start to reach your hips all the way up and back to your nice downward dog. And just soften the heels, relax your head and neck and shoulders. Maybe sway a little side to side. Again, just starting to get the body nice and open and easy. Lots of room in there. So take a big inhale, lift way up onto your tippy toes, reach your heels. And then as you exhale, soften right back down to the ground. Twice more just like that here. Big inhale, lifts you right up to the top. And then as you exhale, soften the heels and relax. Last one, just like that here, big inhale, lifts you right up to the very top. And then as you exhale, soften the heels and relax right back in. Nice, so we'll tuck your chin, roll all the way out to your plank pose, big long wave through your whole spine. And then once you're out here, simply settling in, hanging on for a few long, easy, deep breaths, maybe swaying gently side to side or forward and back just to allow your wrists to get comfortable having some of your body weight on them. And then when you're ready, gently lift your hips all the way back to your nice downward dog. One more time, just like that here, tucking your chin, rounding all the way out to your plank pose. Nice big long wave here. So we'll come over to a side plank on your right hand here, lifting up the hips away, keeping the fingers spread, open up your whole body to the side, wide open across the collarbones. And then when you're ready, rolling back to your middle, same thing up and over to the other side here, lifting up the hips away, keeping the fingers on the left hand spread wide, open up your whole body here, nice and soft and easy. And then when you're ready, rolling back to your middle here. So we'll lower and lift a few times all the way down to the ground and all the way back up here. So bend your elbows nice and slow and controlled all the way down to the ground. And then tuck your toes in one piece all the way right back up. Twice more just like that here. Bend the elbows straight back, lower all the way down. And again, pushing down all the way back up. Last one just like that here, nice and controlled all the way down. And again, in one piece, keep breathing all the way right up and back to your downward dog this time, relaxing the heels and head and neck and shoulders. So we'll take an easy stroll, opening up the backs of your legs here, one simple step at a time. Nice, simple walk here. And then once you're all the way up, folding inward over your legs, let your head go, let your neck soften. And we'll round up to stand here one vertebra at a time, no hurry. Once you do arrive up to your very top, let a big inhale, fill your arms all the way out and up. And then as you exhale, softly fold right up and over your legs. Twice more just like that here, nice and simple, all the way up and all the way back over, really simply beginning to allow your body to move with your breath here. So every inhale, opening, creating a little bit more space, and then every exhale, softening, carrying a little further and deeper inward. One more time just like that here, all the way up and all the way back over. Big inhale, sweeps your arms all the way up. And then as you exhale, soften and relax right back down. So we'll press your palms down, step right back into your plank pose again. This time we'll lower halfway down to the ground, bend your elbows straight back, ease your knees. So we'll lift into a nice upper dog here, starting to open up the spine and the front of your body. Here, maybe sway a little side to side, just to see what's going on there and make a little bit more room. And then take a big inhale to lift up the front of your body. And then as you exhale, tuck your toes and we'll lift right up and back to your nice downward dog. So take a big inhale, reach your right leg way up and back behind you, downward dog split, open up the hips and shoulders. So we're gonna take your knee all the way around, tap it to the outside edge of your right shoulder, and then keep it lifted here, sweep it all the way across your body. So really moving your whole hips and belly here over, open up the hips and send the leg right back behind you. Same thing, starting twisting, bring your knee all the way down and across your body, then open up your hips and send the leg right back behind you. All of that one more time, real smooth here, way up and out to your right side, sweep it across your body, open up the hips and send it all the way back behind you. Last one, starting twisting, bring your knee all the way down and across your body, and we'll open up the hips and send it all the way right back. So this time, take your knee way up into your forehead, nice and high, round your upper back here, gently place your foot right between your hands, low lunge. So we'll come into a warrior one from here, so spin your back heel down, so both bottoms of your feet are firmly planted here. Once your feet are on the ground, push down, big inhale, lift yourself all the way up, and then just square off your hips and shoulders toward the front of you, hanging here for a few breaths. 
and then maybe drop your tailbone. It's a little bit of space can open up in the front of your body. Maybe a little bit of an arch happens and just keep your gaze nice and soft. So keeping your legs right where they are, gently drop your hands back behind you, interlace them together, big inhale lifts you right up. And then as you exhale, we'll fold all the way up and over here, right inside your front leg. Pushing down firmly through your feet, we're gonna come all the way right back up to stand here, big inhale lifts you all the way up to the top. And then as you exhale, we'll fold all the way up and over again, right inside your front leg. Nice, from here, gently release your fingertips down to the ground here inside of your front foot, come onto your back toes, and we'll start to scooch your front foot on over to your right edge of your mat here. Gently ease your back knee down to the ground, so getting into your hips a little bit. Maybe stay up on the arms. If there's room to come on down to the forearms, go ahead and come on down. Maybe sway a little side to side, open up the hips a bit, and just breathe a lot. So from here, staying on your forearms, you're gonna shift your whole body weight into your left side of yourself, just enough so you can swing this right leg all the way around to a nice forearm plank. And then simply hanging here for a few easy breaths. Top of your head floating forward, heels reaching back behind you. Breath staying nice and calm and easy. So staying on your forearms, we'll start to walk your feet all the way up to a nice downward dog on your forearms. Push down through your hands and we'll straighten your arms all the way back into your nice downward dog. And again, just finding a nice sense of softness in your body here. Maybe swaying a little side to side, getting into creaks or corners. And we'll do the same thing on the other side here. So big inhale, take your left leg way up and back behind you. Open up the hips and shoulders here, make some space. And then we'll arc your left knee way in around, tap it to your left side. Gently sweep it all the way across your body. Open up the hips here and send it all the way back behind you. See if you can move through this really slow and easy here. So if you rush through it, it just makes it a little less effective here. So opening all the way up and all the way back behind you. All that one more time, nice and smooth, way up and out, tap it to your left side, sweep it across your body, open up the hips and send it all the way back. Last one, starting twisting, bring your knee all the way down and across your body, gently open up your hips and send it all the way right back. Nice, so again, we'll take your knee way up into your forehead, nice and high, softly bring your foot between your hands, low lunge. And again, coming into that warrior one, ground your back heel. So you wanna make sure your, your front heel and your back arch are in a nice line. And as you push down, lift everything all the way up here. So squaring off your hips and shoulders to your front. Again, maybe drop your tailbone so a little space and the chest can free up and keeping the gaze nice and soft. So legs stay right where they are, gently drop your hands back behind you, interlace them together, big inhale lifts your body up, and then as you exhale, fold all the way up and over here, right inside your front leg. Eyes pushing down firmly through both feet, big inhale lifts you all the way up to the very top, and then as you exhale, folding all the way up and over here, right inside the leg. When you're ready this time, gently release your fingertips down here inside your front foot, come onto your back toes, and we'll scooch this left foot on over to your left edge of your mat, ease the back knee down. And again, just seeing what's going on in your hips here, maybe staying upright, maybe coming down to the forearms, breathe the whole, whole lot, maybe sway gently side to side. And again, when you're ready, staying on your forearms, just to shift your whole body weight into your right side, just enough so you can swing this left leg all the way around to a nice forearm plank. And again, simply hanging here for a few moments. So this time we'll roll into some side forearm planks. So you're lifting all the way up here, roll onto the right forearm, open up your whole body to the side. Fingertips can stay on the ground if you feel pretty steady to open it up. That's great too. And then when you're ready, rolling back to your middle, same thing the other side, rolling onto the left side, open up your whole body, maybe stretch open the arm and come all the way back to the middle. One more time each side here, rolling all the way up and over. Easy deep breath. And all the way back to the middle. Last one on the other side here, rolling all the way open. Easy across the collarbones. And when you're ready, coming all the way back to the middle here. So again, we'll start to walk your feet all the way up to a nice downward dog on your forearms. Lift your hips, lift your belly. And again, push down, see if you can straighten out both arms at the same time, right back into your nice downward dog. So again, real simply, we'll start to walk your feet up to the top of your mat here, one stroll at a time, nice, easy walk. Once you're up here, folding inward over your legs, let your head go, your neck soften. And we'll round up one vertebra at a time. Real simple, once you're all the way up, big inhale, takes your arms all the way up. And then as you exhale, softly fold all the way back down. Again, plant your palms, we'll step right back to your plank pose. 
So lowering and lifting all the way down and all the way up here. Gently bend your elbows all the way down to your belly and then push down, come all the way back up. Twice more just like that here, all the way down to your belly and then push down all the way back up. Last one just like that here, all the way down to your belly and then all the way right up and back to your nice downward dog here, relaxing the heels and head and neck and shoulders. Just finding your breath. And then when you're ready here, gently ease your knees down to the ground, shift your hips back to sit on your heels and take a breather in your child's pose. Once you feel steady, gently roll yourself all the way up and great job. So there you have it, a great routine that you can do for weight loss. I'm Tara Stiles and I'll see you next time on The Yoga Solution.